the, the biggest gap that I see um, in, in sort of traditional IT is, is really a mindset of, of ingenuity or, or, or I mean, we, we call it business agility and obviously there's a whole agile movement, uh, you know, that's supported, uh, what's behind that. You know, the, the, the trick is how do I unlock, uh, you know, human creativity within the engineering uh, resources that I have within my company or that I am exploiting from, from uh, providers like Capgemini. I would argue all the things that we see around us were fundamentally built by, by, by humans with ideas, right, that, that took advantage of creativity. And, and unlocking that in your technology organization is not something that we've really focused on. I mean, IT and data processing before that were, were really a necessity, not, not necessarily the business, but a, but, a, but a necessity for the business. Now, of course, you could argue that with the opportunities provided by digital technology and, and digital in general, it is the business, right? This is, um, you know, business, and we've seen industry after industry kind of go through that transformation, where where maybe technology was in the backdrop and, and in the background, and now it's in the forefront. Uh, I spent, uh, you know, about ten years at an insurance company. You know, insurance a very traditional business. Uh, you know, been around uh, pretty much in, in the exact definition for a long time, but even that industry is able to take advantage of, of software and new capabilities and data and analytics uh, to offer completely new value propositions uh, to their customers, and that's exciting. And it starts with unlocking the engineering potential within the workforce. Uh, so you might look at your company as its most valuable commodities these days are the engineers, right? The software engineers um, that are able to build these new use cases, these new value propositions for your customers.